and I am a pattern maker and today I am going to show you Logic Trace Apparel's new digitizing software. I'm going to show you how to use the program. So we're just going to open up the software and I already have a block set up in the middle of the table. So we're going to tell it that we want to digitize a new style. There are two ways of digitizing and I'm going to show you both today. We can, with the stylus, we can digitize in a continuous motion around the pattern piece, or we can digitize by points around it. So we're going to start with a continuous motion. So I'm going to tell it that I would like to digitize. And I have already selected, it's going to be a pattern piece and we're going to do the boundary cut lines and we're gonna tell it next. So we're gonna go with the first way, which is pattern using tracing and I'm going to tell it we're going to start. So I'm going to pick up my stylus and we're going to come to the pattern piece. We're going to trace in a continuous line in a clockwise mo uh, motion around the pattern piece. We are going to go all the way around until we get to where we started, and then we're going to lift the stylus. We're now going to tell it that we're done, but we're, we still need to add in our notches and our drill holes. So we're going to click digitize again. And we're going to switch now to notches. And first we're gonna put in our notches, so we're going to hit start. Uh, you can select many different types of notches, but for this I'm going to select a standard slit notch hit start. Yet again, in a clockwise motion, we're going to go around the piece. And I'm going to just select all of my notches. I also have a drill hole, so I'm going to go back here and I'm going to tell it I would like to add a drill hole. You can see that it has put in all of our notches and drill holes, so now I'm going to tell it that I'm done. So now what we're going to do is we're going to save this. Um, so I'm going to say that I want to create file and it's going to allow me to select from several different type file types. Um, we can save it as a many different DXF files. So you have a standard DXF, an ASTM DXF, an AAMF uh, DXF. We can also save it as a plot file. We can save it as an SVG, as a PDF, a BMP many different options, but all of these files can be opened by any CAD making software. And we're just going to save it. So now I'm going to show you the second way of digitizing. So we need to create a new file. So we go file new. And we're going to tell it we would like to digitize. So this time we're going to do pattern using points and we're telling it we want to start. So we pick up our stylus. This time though, we're going to go point by point. So we're going to start at our starting point and I'm going to go a straight line to there, but I do have a slight curve here. So I'm going to tell the system that I would like to switch to a curve. And I'm going to put in my curve points. Now from here to here though, I do have a straight line. So I'm gonna switch back to a line. For our neck, it is a curve. So switching back to a curve, and this is a pretty tight curve. So I'm going to want to make sure my points are closer together. For my shoulder, I am switching back to line. For my armhole, we are switching back to curve. For my side seam, it is a straight point, straight line, so we're going to switch back to line and we're going to go back to where we started. Now that our piece is finished, we're going to tell it that we're done, but now we need to add those notches and our drill holes in. So we go back to digitize and we're gonna tell it notches. We're gonna start with notches, and yet again, I'm gonna select a standard slit notch. We'll hit start, and in a clockwise motion, I'll select my notches. Now 
Now we want to tell it that we want to do drill holes. So we're going to select that and we go and we select our drill hole. Now we are done, so we select that we're done and we create the file. Yet again, I'm going to save it as a standard DXF AST, ASTM, but you have many other file types that you can select. So there you have it. It's so easy and simple to trace off your patterns with this, with this new digitizing software. You can easily take your manually made patterns, you can trace them into the system, create a DXF, and send it to any factory or any pattern maker. It can be opened on any CAD making software.